This demo is for Cadillac SRX 2013 to 2017, shown on Cadillac XTS. This interface demo is shown in Cadillac Q in the Cadillac XTS. All Cadillac Q vehicles have identical radio and identical screens, even if it's a different vehicle. All products are 100% made in the USA, support American jobs. In this step, we're going to remove the sidekick panel in order to gain access to the panel below the glove box. First, you remove carefully the panel without breaking any clips. After you remove the panel, we will need 8mm screwdriver head or ratchet with 8mm socket. So this way, we can remove the panel located directly below the glove box so we can access the rest of the computers and glove box. Start removing the screws with 8mm screwdriver or 8mm socket head. Once you remove the screws, you will be able to remove the panel that is located right below the glove box. After you remove the panel, carefully don't pull it out because you have to remove the light for the foot well. After you remove the light, you can now proceed to the rest of the installation. This is an overview of the interface. This T harness connects together to the main harness then it plugs in into the car. Then we got the main plug that plugs in into the interface. Then we got the RCAs. There are camera inputs and audio output into the auxiliary of the car. So you can hear audio from your HDMI, CarPlay, Android Auto, or navigation. And then we'll proceed to the rest of the installation. Locate screen control unit and the radio control unit. This is where the interface will connect in this particular car, both located right under the glove box. If you need exact location of the unit, refer to the manual or contact our technical support. Both units need to be plugged in. The image you see right now is the radio unit. It has a gray connector right next to it. We will show you screen control unit. Now you can see radio control unit, gray connector, and below it, you can see the screen control unit, blue connector. This car, both interfaces are located directly underneath the glove box. So you can easily reach it by hand. First, we're going to begin by removing the blue connector from the screen control module in order to connect the screen interfacing from the main module. First, we're going to plug in male into female, the blue plugs together. Then we're going to connect the gray connector back into the interface. Then we're going to take the second connector and plug into the black connector. And then the other end, which is the blue one, we're going to connect back into the screen control module. Then in the next step, we're going to connect the gray 20 pin T harness into the radio control module. Now we're going to interface radio. We need to unplug the male connector from the radio module. Once we unplug the connector from the radio module, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in into the female connector of the supply T harness. Once we plug it in into the supply T harness, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the leftover male connector back into the radio module. Once that is accomplished, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the module. The LEDs in the module will light up. Once you plug everything in, the LED is going to start blinking. Once you put the ignition on, second LED will come on. If ignition is not on, LED will shut down after a few seconds. You can mount the interface anywhere right below the glove box. You will run your camera directly into the interface, into the RCA inputs, and you will have to run the audio wires from the RCAs into the car's auxiliary audio input. Now, when you put the ignition on, second LED turns on. Now, when you're going to plug in something into the HDMI port of the interface, the last LED will also turn on green, verifying HDMI connection to the interface. And now we will proceed to testing of the interface. You're gonna start the car and you're gonna set the radio to auxiliary. Once you set the radio to auxiliary, you will be hear all the audio that is connected to the interface. Let's begin by going into the audio mode. 
after you go into the audio mode we're going to set the radio to auxiliary media auxiliary now we can hear audio from our device to activate the interface press and hold the home button for a few seconds interface will be activated after that you can cycle the inputs by pressing home button single press will cycle inputs now this is your smartphone image on a car screen smartphone is displayed on a car screen in HD quality please keep in mind if you see any running lines on your car screen in this video they are not there in real life this is just how camera is recording the screen of the car now we will show you ways you see the ways right on your car screen now let's show you how all this works we're gonna go back to the factory screen now press and hold the home button we will switch to HDMI input you got the ways with a single press of a button we'll be able to switch to camera inputs now we're gonna go switch to the front camera you will see front camera in that white box it says front camera it's hard to see on the camera but it's there now we got left camera and also in the white box in the left corner it says left camera now we'll show you right camera in that white box it says right camera and now we'll show you how to operate it automatically so in reverse you're gonna have factory rear view camera in drive you're gonna have front camera up to 10 miles an hour and then you can operate left and right camera with turn signals so you have two ways to operate the interface automatically or manually you can force on any of the cameras at any time when you like with this interface you can operate both iPhone and Android you can mirror your iPhone and Android to car screen keep in mind we also have Apple CarPlay available Android Auto available and navigation add-on available for cars without navigation we will now show you operation of YouTube Netflix and some other apps our interface can wirelessly mirror all the apps and wired iPhone as well let's go ahead and demo YouTube application we're gonna start the app and we're gonna play the first available video that we have on our home screen of the application and you get full screen HD quality YouTube right on your car screen remember if you see any lines running on the screen they're not there in real life this is just how the camera is recording the car screen now we're gonna show you the Netflix also works 100% now it's Netflix demo we're gonna show you first available video we have on our home screen again keep in mind that we're on a slow LTE connection and if you see any lines on the screen those lines are not there in real life this is just how the camera is recording the car screen however you get the mirroring in HD quality right on your car screen and Netflix works 100% now there's a great way to see the quality of our interface none of our competitors will have this in 2018 or in any near foreseeable future you can see that every letter of the text can be read that's because it's fully HD mirroring so everything on the screen is crystal clear every letter is readable that's HD all interfaces are 100% made in the USA all interfaces are 100% automotive grades these interfaces are designed to last for 10 years minimum thank you for watching please click the round logo on the left hand side of the screen to subscribe if you want to watch another video click the video on the right hand side if you enjoyed this video please share and leave a like and a comment thank you